Welcome, friends. I am Professor Marie Collington Wafari Coach. I am with the FDLT here. Thank you. I'm called Tassien Wilingimana, a lecturer at the University of Rwanda in the Department of Crop Science, uh, College of Agriculture, Animal Science, and Veterinary Medicine. Thank you. Thank you, Tassien. We are going to discuss on the cultivation of okra. In Uganda, okra is a, a type of vegetable. It is a, like a new, but not a very new in Uganda. Here as presenters, but the work was done by seven researchers, uh, five from the University of Uganda, Tasiano Eringimana, Professor Marie Goretu Mozariho, Professor Francois Xavier Naramabuye, Dr. Sylvester Havimana, and Dr. Vincent Dopor Bigirima. The two remaining are from Morab, Dr. Asina Paul Ndereimana, and Dr. Florence Wamahor. Our work, as we said, it is on okra. The title of the study is The Evaluation of Performance of Six Okra Genotypes in Rwanda. In this video, we want to share the result of our research. We'll discuss on the cultivation of okra and also, as I said, we'll share some results. Do you want to know how to cultivate okra? Please follow this video up to the end. Okra, you can ask yourself what is okra. Okra is a nutritious vegetable crop with numerous health benefits. The consumption of adequate quantity and quality vegetables is vital for proper functioning of human body. Okra is mainly cultivated in tropical and subtropical regions, especially in warm climates with annual rainfall and mean temperatures of 900 and 1000 mm and 18 degrees centigrade up to 35 degrees centigrade respectively. Uh, what is the type of soil to use when you want to cultivate okra? Okra is cultivated on sand and or clay loam soil with a pH from 6 to 6.8. This is the recommended type of soil to cultivate your okra. Generally, okra require one uh, 50 kg of nitrogen, 112 kg of phosphorus, and 75 uh, kg of potassium per hectare. Even if we grow vegetables, as you know, vegetables they are affected by numerous pests and diseases. In okra, may face challenge of okra yellow vein mosaic virus, okra inertion leaf curry virus and fruit bola. Those are three main insect pests and diseases affecting okra crop. They cause yield losses and low quality of the produce. If you want to, to reduce that losses, you are required to apply some pesticide in order to control those uh, problems, especially for fruit bolas. Okra is nowadays known as a food with health and medicinal benefit due to its composition. As we have said, we are going to share the cultivation of okra. In our next video, we are going to share the benefit and nutrient composition of okra. In Rwanda, the existing okra was staying in the field for more than two seasons were uh, very taller and harvesting them it was very difficult and they were delaying the setting pot and they stay in the field for longer period that one it make it difficult for farmers to plan for their practices because that uh, variety was staying in the field for more than two seasons in this study we were evaluating the performance of six new introduced genotypes, those genotypes, they have short growing season, they are easy to harvest because they are short, and they are uh, 
uh, they can stay in the field for a short period. You can ask yourself how those researchers they did their study. Our research was done in two agroecological zones of Rwanda. In the mid altitude zone, the study was done at Raburwona. And in the low altitude zone, the study was done at Rab Musenyi in Ibugesera district. The land was well prepared. And also in our study, the seedlings were prepared from nursery at Rab Murindi. Before starting the nursery or sowing our seeds, the seeds were soaked in the water for 24 hours and transplanting was done after 25 days from sowing. At planting, we applied 70, 750 grams of wet decomposed cow manure in each hole, 10 grams of NPK, the NPK is nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium was applied on each plant after one week from transplanting. The composition of NPK it means is N nitrogen 17, phosphorus 17, and potassium 17. After one month, we applied urea and on each plant we applied 5 grams. To achieve the optimum growth, yield, and quality, proper plant population also was followed with a spacing of 50 to 40 centimeters. Other management practices applied, it was weeding to remove the unwanted plant, matching irrigation at the shortage of rainfall, pest control were also done. Planting was done on 15 February 2023, and the first harvesting date was done after two months. Normally after transplanting, okra start setting pods after two months. By using those new genotype, you start harvesting your pod. Well, for the first one, the existing variety, it requires like four months to harvest them. The first harvest was done two months after transplanting. And when you start to harvest the pod, it is better to continue harvesting every two days. Because when you delay in harvesting, the pod will become too hot and they will contain more fibers and they will not be delicious. Avoid to harvest the over mature pods because they become hard due to higher fiber content. The results of this study indicate that the three reading okra genotypes in two agroecological zones of Rwanda in terms of yield were AVOC 1505, AVOC 1504, and Pusa Sawana. But AVOC 1505 was reading in terms of yield, while local and corn genotypes were with poor performance and they gave us lower yield. This study on okra was realized with the support of various contributors. We thank particularly to the following. The University of Rwanda, which has funded this study through the Sweden program and availed the staff to conduct experimentations. Rwanda Agriculture and Animal Resources Development Board, which graciously offered land for experimentation. Thank you for watching this video. I recommend you to contact us for proper cultivation of okra. See you in the next video. Bye bye.